Good morning, YouTube. Um, just now getting ready to get out of uh, Missouri and head into Kentucky, into the western side of Kentucky. I'm pretty excited today because I'm going to be traveling some of the back roads through Missouri and on into Kentucky uh, en route to uh, Madisonville to visit a buddy of mine. Um, last night, slept great. Been really enjoying the RV at this point. I have uh, had a chance last night to spend with uh, a tour friend of mine, Callista. Um, went to her uh, ice cream shop and burger barn sort of place um, in the Lakes region of Missouri. Um, really fun, fun spot. I really enjoyed it. I'm a big Frito pie sort of guy. It blows my mind that Sonic only carries Frito Pies at about 50% of their locations. So I had a chance to have a Frito Pie and relax and uh, meet her family and have a really nice time. They had a farmer's market this morning, so I had a chance to pick up some good, some good uh, bakery items and some dog treats for the doggos in the back seat. So having a real nice time. Um, I'm really excited now to be heading into Kentucky, which I think is like my sixth or seventh state, uh, coming all the way from California. This will be my last major leg of the trip. Uh, this is now day six of my travels, and uh, it's been really nice, very relaxing, uh, very uh, therapeutic, pretty amazing weather. It was a little windy in New Mexico and Arizona. But last night it settled off and even though I'm starting to feel that humidity, that is pretty much the sole reason why I live out in California, starting to feel the humidity of uh, Missouri and I'm sure Kentucky will have plenty of that also. But uh, it's been really lovely weather overall. So I've really enjoyed myself. Um, I um, enjoy making these uh, vlogs and hopefully a few friends of mine and I will have um, reconnected on the vlogs. Uh, by all means, I always appreciate anybody that uh, likes the video, uh, subscribe to my channel so you can get updates. The little uh, ticker will tell you if there's any notifications about uh, updates of the channel and anything. So it's been uh, pretty fun. I hope that I can uh, keep the YouTube videos going and I really enjoy uh, doing this. Um, thought I'd spend most of this video talking about my childhood uh, in Kentucky. Um, haven't spent a ton of time in Western Kentucky to be honest. I feel like most of the places that we went, I mean we went all over. Um, when I was about 13 we took a, a trip with uh, my school and we went around to all the counties. That was a field trip that we took to make it to every single county in Kentucky. And so I've been to a lot of the state parks. Kentucky is very well known for their state parks. Uh, they have the, uh, of course they have the Bourbon Trail, they have the uh, uh, Bluegrass Parkway, which cuts right through the middle of it, and is absolutely gorgeous come fall. Um, much of uh, Kentucky, at least Louisville for that matter, is in the Ohio Valley, um, so they are kind of in their own little pocket of uh, weather region right there in, in Louisville. Um, but I have super fond memories of growing up in Kentucky. Um, I lived in Kentucky full-time up until I went off to college and then period periodically throughout college I would come back to Louisville for a couple months when I was on tour I would um, come back to Louisville oh I did realize in yesterday's video that the sound is not nearly as good if I'm not wearing my AirPod so apologies about the uh, ambient sound today. So um, 
I truly loved growing up in Kentucky. Um, I would say 90% of what I know is based upon Louisville. Louisville being the most blue part of the state, as well as the most progressive, the largest city in the state, followed second and third by uh, Lexington, and then uh, Bowling Green uh, in Western Kentucky. Um, all three of those uh, cities, all three of them are, are pretty driven by colleges, but uh, of course Louisville, uh, in the last 20 years, Louisville has shot up as a culinary mecca. Uh, I do not remember in my teenage years Louisville having a huge culinary or uh, foodie uh, culture. But definitely in the last 20 years, Louisville has become a foodie mecca. And so they definitely have a lot better restaurants than I recall as a kid. But who knows, maybe they've always had super amazing restaurants. Um, you know, um, I was a suburban uh, suburb kid growing up in Louisville. And we, by all means, took tons of road trips out into the ruler parts of Kentucky. Like I said, state parks were always a huge thing. Um, you know, going out into the countryside to go to a fun flea market or to go to a, a farm restaurant, um, to go out and see some of the natural wonders of Kentucky. So we did a lot of traveling. We definitely I, you know, a lot of vacationing. You know, my mom would always set us up at some little eight or 20 room uh, motel for the evening. And Kentucky was has very fond memories in my uh, childhood as to visiting and going out and seeing the uh, roadside attractions and different areas, as well as launching off to go to South Carolina and the Carolinas. Uh, Georgia, Florida. We went down to Disney World a couple times in my childhood. Um, and so I truly enjoyed uh, growing up in Louisville as well as Kentucky. Um, you know, I'm uh, en route to visit a buddy of mine who has moved down into one of the smaller towns of Kentucky. Uh, and so I'll be spending a day with him, catching up uh, drinking some bourbon, of course. Um, I truly did not develop, I didn't develop a love for horse racing or bourbon um, until I ultimately left Kentucky. Uh, gardening until I left Kentucky. You know, a lot of those things I was not uh, privy to, obviously, as a kid, but growing up, um, you know, once I, I left, I started to develop a taste for enjoying bourbon a little bit. Um, you know, the Derby was always something that was super fascinating, uh, to go to a party for, but I didn't really care about horse racing or the event itself or Churchill Downs for that matter, you know, as a kid. Uh, we went on field trips to Churchill Downs, but it was much smaller back then. There was no museum at the time. Um, you know, I just enjoyed um, the fact that it was just in my backyard. You know, and most of the time when you're, you like to travel, but you don't uh, uh, travel as often as a kid or when you're working, uh, you don't oftentimes look in your backyard. So we I never went to Churchill Downs as a kid. Um, I passed up the opportunity to go to the Derby when I was a teenager because I was too excited doing theater at the time. And so I didn't develop that love for, for um, Kentucky as much until after I left it. Uh, bluegrass, I didn't develop a love for until the beginnings when I was in North Carolina for college and then thereof. I didn't have a, a major love for uh, 
bluegrass music until after I left. Um, some other things, and I wouldn't even, I would not even consider Kentucky to be a major contributor at this day and age to bluegrass music, honestly. I feel like there's other areas, but I could be wrong. Um, but other than that, uh, what else is Kentucky known for? Kentucky is definitely known for Actors Theater of Louisville, which is a major contributor to uh, straight plays. And they do an amazing job with uh, endowments to the arts. Um, the Louisville Slugger Baseball Museum and Factory uh, for sports, which um, when I was growing up was not based in Kentucky at all, or Louisville for that matter. It was based in Indiana for easily, I'm guessing about 15, 20 years. Uh, the Louisville Slugger Factory was based in Indiana because uh, at the time, Kentucky did not take much pride uh, in it and give them tax incentives to be in Kentucky. So it was cheaper to go to just across the river, the Ohio River, and make baseball bats over there uh, for many a years throughout my childhood. So uh, it wasn't until about 15 years ago that downtown Louisville started to populate itself and become more of a mecca and they moved the uh, factory and the museum to downtown Louisville at that point. Um, the riverfront in downtown Louisville has now become a mainstay for the downtown look of Louisville, but when I was in high school, we would very, we would go down there and it was a wasteland, honestly. Downtown Louisville's waterfront was a complete dump, a wasteland. Um, we did in high school a lot of uh, community based events to go down and clean up the waterfront, and a lot of money was put into it. And then they eventually were able to uh, turn that into a mecca. Um, so. So anyways, just wanted to uh, take a little bit of time and talk about my upbringing in Louisville um, and some of the more noteworthy, uh, you know, things about Kentucky and just how much my love for Kentucky has grown as I've left from my childhood and what I truly appreciate of it and what you might know of it. So I'm going to stop off here and get some gas. But I hope everybody has a phenomenal day. And I'm going to keep on trucking and I'll see you guys down the road. Have a great day. Bye.